guys, my name is Dominic Flux. I'm a custom jewelry designer and today is photo shoot day. It is always fun because we are always putting out a lot of custom pieces. So we are always creating content. And today I thought we'd mix it up from our, you know, usual jewelry videos. And I thought we'd show you a little bit of behind the scenes because we do a lot behind the scenes if you haven't noticed. So let's just break down this entire photo shoot. So maybe it can maybe inspire you for your own shots. And uh, yeah, it was just really fun to make. So let's jump in. The way that my business works is a little bit different than most jewelry businesses. A lot of the times they have, you know, collections that come out every season. We're not like that, we do custom. So we're constantly have to create content as the pieces come out. So this week we had a beautiful 2.58 carat non-heated purple sapphire engagement ring in platinum. It was absolutely stunning. This is like those one of the kind gems that you never get to see, especially the fact that it's not heated. So I really want to get some really beautiful content around that. We have a beautiful sapphire engagement ring uh, designed around a peony flower. And then we also have some other pieces like sapphire ashes rings, some of our usual in-house designs. So number one, to get started, I basically drew the concept designs out. So I basically drew the set for my my team just so they can understand what it is that's going on in my head because otherwise it doesn't always make sense. So now that we have the concept designs, now it's time to, time to start planning because this was kind of a theme that there's a lot of elements into play because the whole concept that I wanted was I wanted to recreate kind of like a space and the stars were supposed to be reflective enough that would capped whatever we were basically projecting on the opposing wall. In the end, it didn't really work because we tried with a projector, but the projectors weren't strong enough and the walls were too wide apart in order to really cap it. So it didn't turn out exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. We still got really good shots. You always have to come in with a plan B, which is literally why we have these lights because if the projector didn't work, then we had these lights as a backup to kind of create sparkly stars on on the little mirrors that we cut out. And yes, we cut them all out, it took so long. <laughs> we basically bought this like really cool reflective mirror that has like sticker on the back. So we were able to just like stick them on the walls. If ever you guys need that, it was so easy. And we bought it on Amazon for like maybe $15. So that was a great purchase. So this is a kind of shoot where there is a lot of like after effects. So this is kind of what the final product looked like. It looks really great. We also played around with like product shots of the actual rings in front of the screen. So because we were able to shoot closer up, we were able to film on an iPad, like the background of the stars. So we kind of did get a little bit of what we were going for. So now that we got all the content, now we have to edit. So the editing is always the most important part because that's really going to, I feel, give the ambience to a photo. So Sadi, my photographer, is the best at giving ambience. And so as you can see, he made the color corrections really nice, made it a lot warmer. And yeah, the pictures came out really cool. This was probably done on maybe like a six or $700 budget. So it's not very expensive. You can, it's a little bit kind of like DIY, but that's how we roll. <laughs> so, that's how we roll. And you can do a lot with very little. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, we're definitely gonna come out with more content like this. Let me know if you even like the behind the scenes. Maybe you guys just wanna see jewelry videos, but uh, yeah, I thought it'd be co it could be kind of fun to show uh, what we're up to. My name is Dominique Flux. I'm a custom jewelry designer and I will see you soon. Bye.